Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. Uh, this is the part. Uh, from what I've seen, it's kind of a spinoff of The Secret World. Um, I guess this is like a location in The Secret World or something, and I um, they did a first-person horror experience on it, so this can either be... Uh, it can either be decent or it can be totally terrible. <laughs> uh, it is a walking simulator, um, so I expect it to kind of be like Dear Esther or Collot. Um, I'm not sure how much there is in the way of puzzle solving in this game, or if it's all just gonna be just walking and there's not a whole lot in controls. Because I looked in the settings, um, and I, I mean, you don't, you don't get, you know, what you get to do. You just get that. So, um, let's get into it. The park is a narrative experience best played in a dark room wearing headphones. It deals with subject matter that may be disturbing to some players. The part may manipulate graphics, audio, control settings, and your sanity. Okay. Sounds good. I am in a dark room, and I'm wearing headphones. So I'm good. In my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Where's Mr. Bear? I haven't seen Mr. Bear, Callum. Oh my god, those jeans. Stay in the car. We'll go and ask information. Those were some high waisted, high waisted jeans. Um, hey, Callum, how about we just freaking get in the car and leave? Because I don't think this is going to turn out well. Oh, oh, hey, I can see my butt. Oh, okay, that's awkward. That's pretty neat, though. Asking for information. Who needs to ask for information? Let's go dig around in the trash instead. Okay, nothing's over here. There's no exploring to be done. Let's go into the creepy abandoned park. And that just seems like a really Attention, good Attention patrons, the park is now closed. Please make your way to the car park at your earliest convenience. Okay. Employees, prepare the park for shutdown. I just uh, oh. What? Huh? Hey, Lorraine. Lorraine. Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Take a deep breath and think about the last place you saw your son's teddy bear. Hey, stop. I think your boy just ran into the park. I'll unlock the gates for you. Um. Hey. How did he run into the locked park? Asshole. Oh god. Okay, let's go in. Yeah, let's, let's go. Oh my god, it's press X to Jason. Callum, where are you going? Over here. Well, get back here. There's something special about the entrance to an amusement park. A line drawn between the real world and the world of whimsy within. On this side, the apathy of our everyday lives. And on the other, anything we might dare to dream. It's no wonder Callum ran back inside. I wouldn't want to leave either. 
Attention employee, the park is now closed. Have a safe journey home. Oh. here okay so we're sideshow alley hopefully there's a roller coaster and bumper cars and the house of horrors i don't have to go into the house of horrors that's gonna be a lot of fun the tunnel of tales the octotron the ferris wheel also considering that thing told me i could start running that probably means something's going to chase me Come to mommy, Callum. Oh, there he is. Where did you go? Come on, mommy. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. yelling in a creepy park that just like randomly mm. don't hide from me Callum this way mommy mm -mm. salmon shoe I think this belongs to Callum I like you can rotate it around okay what do I Are you? Catch me, mommy. I don't like that it. I feel like it's staring at me. Don't you turn your head. Don't you turn your head. Go, 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 I heard a noise. Wait, Callum! I heard a noise. Come on, Mommy! Callum! Over here! Another accident. This... Oh, open ah. read noise. Stop freaking out. Stop freaking out. Oh, there's a knife in that teddy's eyes. Okay. Despite the constant interruptions to work, Atlantic Island Park will be opening on time. The governor is booked to cut the ribbon, so the only real question is whether we will have any customers. I'm not truly worried. The customers will come out of simple curiosity. I deduced what was needed from the band writings of Archie Henderson. It's astonishing to think that a resonance of positive emotions can be used to fuel such a process. Henderson himself chose to use negative, and that caused some of the taint that still lingers in this place. I will not make his mistakes. Very soon, I will know if this has all been for nothing. I'm 
doomed. Oh god. I don't want any part of this. Oh. I don't know if you're able to die in this. I haven't looked up anything about this game. I have... I pre-ordered it. Because it looked like it might be terrible. Or it might be good. And then I, uh... I, you know... I didn't, I didn't look anything else past that. Can I just throw myself into the water? Nope, nope, I can't. Okay. Can I just, um, leave and file a missing persons report? I mean, obviously I can't because this is all in my head. Look at the printing moon. <laughs> The Octotron. This old thing used to make the blood run to my head. It'd make me dizzy. Salmon report. I like how it told me that. The guy just blue. snapped. Those poor kids. Eyewitness report. Atlantic Island Park incident. Kinsmith. Kingsmith. Sheriff. From I don't like. Okay. Officer on duty. Sheriff. F. Bannerman, witness name Norma Creed. We were waiting for a turn on the ride. Frank, me and the boys. This fellow in the chipmunk suit is making an ice cart bean while people took photographs. Lawrence wanted to go over to him, but I've always been a bit wary of those suits. They give me the creeps. It's silly, I know. Anyways, the chipmunk man, he was carving and picking away at the ice. And at first we thought he was making some animal, like a tiger or a lion. But as more and more ice fell away, when you first looked, it was like a human face smiling out of that block of ice. But the more you looked at it, the more you saw that there was something not quite right about the proportions. Something unnatural that made your heart begin to beat just a little faster. Like you were prey and that thing in the ice was a hunter. But then these teenagers walked up and one of them made a face at the carving and said something rude to the guy in the chipmunk suit. And then, well, he went berserk. For a few moments, it was chaos. Everyone was running away from the guy who had one of the teenagers on the ground, and he was stab, stab, stabbing with the ice pick, and blood was spraying, and people were screaming, and Frank and I had the kids, and we were dragging them away as fast as we could. And the last thing I saw before Frank dragged me away was that the eyeball of one of those poor kids had landed on the ice sculpture, making the horrible creature look more or less alive. I mean the same chick man that was, you know, the statue? Come back. This way. I'm about to like pass out, I'm so fucking terrified. Callum! Where did you go? Over here. For where? Sound like you came from the left. Ride the Octotron? Why would I want to do that? Why would I want to do this? Why would I want to do this? Why do I want to... Sure, girl. Let's go kill ourselves. I can't get on while it's moving. I don't know why I'm doing this. How did it turn on? Oh my god, I'm even holding on to the handlebars. Oh my 
my god! Come back, Callum. Over here. Callum, where'd you go? Come on, Mommy. I'm not playing anymore, Callum. This way, Mommy. Callum, tell Mommy where you are. Catch me, Mommy. I can't figure out where the fuck he is. Come out, sweetie. Like he's coming from inside the Octotron. Mommy needs to see you, Callum. This way. Oh, okay. I don't even have to worry about it because it's okay. Frustrated by the fact that the plans seem incomplete. I know as well as anybody that the rules of the game can be changed with enough money, but no matter how much money talks, it can't conjure up missing plans from thin air. I tried contacting the organization who sold these plans, and they are stonewalling me. Every contract that I had, every meeting place that I have had watched are swept bare. Every contract that I had, every meeting place I that I have had watched are swept bare. Oh, still, to make sense. I have a sinking feeling that I have been swindled. We've gone ahead with what we could find in the plans regardless. The harvesting machines, the transport mechanisms, etc. I'll probably let, let Nicholas name them something cute for the day we open the park. They will be rides after all. I shouldn't have gotten on the evil double machine. Obviously. The evil double machine is the, you know, evil and double machine. And, okay, I just noticed the utterly terrifying way it looks. That doesn't look like an octopus. That looks like... a kappa? Okay. No, no, no. No. That's... No. 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 Nope. 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 Okay, so, we are back. So, um, you know, true facts time. I, I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta turn that off. I gotta, okay, true facts time. I am terrible with horror games. I hate horror games. I hate horror stories. I hate horror movies. I... What happens if I increase the speed, I wonder? 
Um, I I hate it all. No, not gonna lie. If it so much as like hints at being horror, I'm I'm fucking out. I don't I hate it all. And um I don't like how it keeps saving on me. Um So, yeah, this game, probably going to be like my worst nightmare. This is not even all that spoopy. And I'm like freaking out, because I swear you can hear stuff like talking in the background, and it really freaks me out, and I hate it. I hate it so much. Are you? But, um, yeah, so, um, I just, I'm. Treachery hides in thoughts. Treachery that lashes like a whip and scars our insides. The first time I saw Callum, my thoughts betrayed me. I looked down at this wrinkled, red, bawling thing and I thought, is that it? We build our world from expectations, and the world that I had built for Callum was no different. He was so real, so there, and so far from my expectations. And they shattered, and as they fell in pieces, that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. All of the love that we shared, all of the warmth and goodness that followed, built on a single traitorous thought. That doesn't make you a bad mom, Lorraine. So from what I'm understanding of this, you just, you, you stop, you stop staring at me. You, yeah, you turn around. Is, okay, so Lorraine is probably a single mom. She looks to be pretty young, at least. Um... So she's a single mom with a boy. And I guess maybe they were at the amusement park and he lost his bear. And so she was going to go find his bear for him. But obviously, I think this is all in her head. Because the very first thing she said was, you know, in, in my heart and in my mind, I always go back to this park. So. That speaks to me that this isn't real. And that it's all in her head or something. Um, but, I mean, there, there, there's essentially two options in this game. Nothing's real, and so I don't have to be scared because I can't die. Or, this is real and this place is really haunted and I'm going to die because something's going to kill me. That's, uh, that's pretty much my two options. And I don't like either of those. Oh my god, I don't like that at all. Okay, see, we just went out of the octave run. So we went from side to alley past the House of Horrors, up through Tunnel Tales, and then through the octave run. So if we had continued on that way, we would have been the Ferris wheel. Back around. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Am I supposed to be like going in these horrifically terrifying places? I feel like there's something in there. That's why the light keeps flickering. It's because it's supposed to be showing me that there's something. Nah. Oh. Okay. I thought working in the park for a summer would be a lot of fun. But the end of the season here really drags. There aren't that many tourists around, so most of the staff spend their days standing around gossiping. 
And most of that gossip is about Chad. I mean, Steve. See, even I am starting to call him Chad, and I went to school with the guy. It's that goddamn suit. In the beginning, it was a la laugh. Steve the local lush as Chad the chipmunk, child-friendly mascot at Atlantic Island Park. Lock up your daughters and all of that. But the more he wears that suit, the weirder Steve is getting. At first, it was little things, like refusing to change out of the suit at work and taking it home with him every day. But then I saw him at Susie's Diner, still wearing it, and it wasn't even a work day. Some of the staff complained discreetly to park management about the smell, and I saw him walking and talking with Mr. Winter, the owner, one day. But nothing seems to have changed. The suit still smells like a carcass whenever Steve walks by. And apparently Steve has picked up some new skills since the last time I saw him puking up in a gutter outside the Psycoil psych station because he sure as hell can carve a mean ice sculpture. Those shapes he makes in the ice, though, they give me the creeps. Steve came by the booth today, lucky me, and he just hung around for a while. I couldn't really tell because of the suit, but it seemed like he was just staring at me, sizing me up, eye-fucking me, whatever he was doing. I asked him what he wanted, and he just stood there, not saying anything. Eventually, I called my supervisor, and he came by. Chad, Steve, wandered off. My supervisor told me to get everything in writing, so here it is. Also, I quit. I don't want to see that chipmunk suit ever again. Laura Hinman. Oh! I knew that was coming. And it still got me. Oh, it still got me good. Where are you? Come back, Callum. Oh, that fucking got me so good. Hello? Every time it saves. Every time it saves, I'm just like, no. Constant crashes in 80s music. I guess it floats someone's boat. Oh, this is bumper cars. Holy shit, that got me so good. See what horrors await me in here. God, I hate this game. This game is evil. I like it when it like does the little vibrating things. That makes me very uncomfortable and I know I am supposed to go to this bumper car. But I feel like it's gonna pull a Christine on me and that car's gonna come and kill me. Or some equally horribly bad thing is going to happen to me. Oh, I don't like this. Ooh, I don't like this. Fine. Examine accident report. Oh, what jump scare are you going to give me with this time? Employees' names Frances Dufresne, 25th of October 1976. Job titles and department laborers working on the crane. Supervisor Richard Stapleton, Lawrence Creed, Michael Edgeworth. I don't like this. Brief description of the accident or incident. During the transport of the bumper cars into the arena, one of the straps attaching the load to the truck came untied, causing a cascade of bumper cars onto Francis, who was standing directing the driver. Francis was crushed by the weight of the cars. Oh boy. Describe any injuries caused. Francis was killed. 
Did the injured employee see a doctor? Well, there wasn't really any point in him seeing a doctor, huh? This conversation. Dexter, the truck driver, claims to have seen someone on the back of the load undoing the straps. Nobody else reported seeing that. The sheriff has requested that Dexter provide them with urine samples. What could have been done to prevent this accident slash incident? Double checking of the straps after transit should be mandatory and drug screenings for all drivers. The local laborers are very superstitious and this hasn't helped. Some of them are refusing to return to work until we have someone for the local church. Walk the park and exercise the bad spirit. What? 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 Nope. 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 gonna happen. I knew it. I knew it. Fuck you, game. I knew every time I read one of those notes. Obviously, I'm supposed to go over there. Every time. Every time I read one of those notes, something bad happens. Every time. Mommy's coming, Callum! You really want me to go to the Ferris wheel? Okay. Okay, game. I will I will play your game. I don't wanna. It's a matter of public record that I am a failure as a mother. Once, when Callum was very small. I left him asleep in the car while I ran an errand. Don't even remember what it was. When I came back, the sheriff was standing next to the car, watching my boy through the window. I didn't like what I saw in his eyes. Judgment. He wrote me the ticket without saying a word. Just the scratch scratch of his pen on the notepad. When he gave it to me, our eyes met. I know what you're going through. My daughter, Helen, she just gets some help. Help was a bolt of lightning. Help was a thousand volts surging through my veins. Help is agony. I'd rather die. I wanted to scream. I'd rather you pulled your gun and shot me. But instead my mouth said, yes, Sheriff. Okay. So what horrible shit are you gonna do to me now? Don't be afraid. Oh no, be really afraid. There's some crazy guy in a chipmunk suit who's probably gonna track you down and kill you. Mommy is coming, Kelm! They're gonna make you get on this goddamn thing and I'm afraid of pies. Where are you, Kelm? And there's some creepy guy running the ride and there's like these weird harvester things and all the rides are actually harvesters every time we get on one of the rides it's murdering us because like these are meant to like harvest positive energy but someone who made an amusement park to harvest bad energy and we're just we're doomed we are so doomed Lorraine oh my god okay Read the note. Continually delayed by the incompetence of the builders. The problem is that they are locals and so they believe a lot of the rumors about what old man Henderson used to do here. They grew up on those tales. Every time a bolt comes loose or a wrench goes missing, those fools are crossing themselves against the black magic. Of course, that is why I chose this site over all the other potentials. Solomon Isle Solomon Island is a nexus for dark energies and the thought of all that power just dissipating into the earth here, it makes my skin crawl. I called in a few favors back in Brooklyn and got someone at the local academy to see if they had any interesting books about local history. Turns out they do and it turns out that old man Henderson has some pretty strong connections to the Brooklyn crowd. Perhaps something he wrote will help me find a piece of the plans that I am missing. What are you going to do me this time, game? Where did you go? Callum, where did you go? Callum? Callum! Stay where you are! Okay, 
obviously you're gonna make me go on the murder machine. Great, okay. I'm just gonna cut in line. That's probably why all these rides are going wrong, is because they cut in line. Oh boy, look, another, oh my god, no, something bad's gonna happen whenever I read this. Okay, prepare yourself. Prepare your heart. So they are going to close this place down. Doesn't surprise me. Inspection gate. Unsafe. Closed park. Inspector's comments. After touring the park, riding the rides, and in viewing the startling number of incidents suffered here in the park, it is... This inspector's opinion that Atlantic Island Park should be shut down until Nathaniel Winter complies with all safety regulations. While well, I understand that there is a sensitive political relationship between Mr. Winter and the Senator, I nevertheless suggest that such political considerations be set aside in condemning Atlantic Island Park. The rides, at first glance, appear well constructed and maintained. But the sheer number of incidents in the park during the last few years and during construction lead me to believe that there is something wrong at the base level of construction and we should close the park and fully investigate these flaws. To wit, here is a partial list of fatalities in the park since opening only two years ago. Okay, so the park opened in 1978. A family of three killed when a roller coaster cart derailed. Fourteen. Separate incidents of broken bones and crushed ribs while riding the Octotron. Three suicides from the top of the Ferris wheel. A child seriously injured on the escalator. Over a dozen children reported missing in the House of Horrors since its construction. One report of a drowning in the Tunnel of Tales. A sheer volume of incidents means that it is my strongest recommendation that the Atlantic Island Park be closed a lot of people injured or dead. Okay. Let's go hate ourselves. shit to happen. Are you excited, Lorraine? Because I'm not. Oh, that's the window. We're gonna die, Lorraine. I just want you to know that I'm sorry. I hate heights. People come into your life for a reason. Dad used to say that before Mom ran off. After that, he mostly just drank. Things were different for Don and I. When we met, I was sweeping the floor at Susie's diner. He came in with some workers, but he didn't try to flirt or cop a feel like the others. He just ordered a coffee and sat there, watching me. Mm. When my shift was over, he offered to walk me home. I don't know how to describe that walk. We talked and laughed and eventually kissed. It felt like love. It felt like a fairy tale. Oh god. I can't tell you if Calm was made that night or one oh of no. the ones that followed. But I think it has to be that night. That one perfect night. Don and I moved in together, but then, well, he died. According to the supervisor, his safety harness failed when he was working on the top of the Ferris wheel. Don was there one moment, and then gone. Sometimes people leave your life for no reason. I was three months pregnant with Callum. Fairy tale fucking over. Well, if that's the case, you moved in with him pretty damn quick. If you got pregnant on the first night you think oh I 
hate that man. Stay where you are. I hate that man with the deep unending passion. Oh great, this is the Ferris wheel cart that fell off of the Ferris wheel. Yeah, no. Where are you, Callum? Oh, here's another one. I thought I only saw one missing one, though. I seriously thought that the ride was gonna, like, stop me at the top and just leave me there. Of people idolize their children. You hear them talking about their kids and just the way they talk? Their fucking voices make me want to vomit. My angel likes to read, and little Johnny is so good on the piano. Fuck those people! You give up nine months of your life carrying them, you traumatize yourself giving birth to them, and then you spend the rest of your life as their slave. Wiping asses, mopping a piss, feeding them. Little life-sucking monsters who take and take and take until... We all go insane. Any parent who pretends otherwise is just dishonest. That's called choice supportive bias. I am honest. Callum really grinds my gears, and he owes me everything. Everything! It served the little fuck right if I just abandoned him. Uh, Lorraine? And you need to take a second. Just you know what? Let's just let's just go in the shade here. Let's stare up, stare up at the stars. Look at the pretty stars. Yeah. There you go. Take a moment to calm down. Callum, tell mommy where you are. Oh, hey, it's the roller coaster, oh boy. Stay where you are! Callum, where did you go? Oh boy, let's ride the roller coaster of hell. Oh, I see a chipmunk. I'm out. I'm leaving. This kid can just be resigned to his fate. I should stay where you are. That you might do. Is that moving? I can't tell if that's moving or if I'm moving. Okay, it's not a person. Ha ha ha. I always wanted to ride this one. Never got around to do it before. Before your 
boyfriend died? Yeah, you want to run it now? Because... Because we're going to die. Oh, God. Yeah, let's, uh... Let's ride the roller coaster. Let's just... Let's just do this. Okay. What do you want? No! We need to talk about Callum. What do you mean? What have you done to him? I... That's insulting. You and your boy are everything that this place doesn't want. The antithesis of what we stand for. Where is Callum? The poor child. He tried so hard to do what he was taught. He even left you a trail of breadcrumbs. But the park is just so hungry. Tell me where my son is. The witch has him now. Has both of you. No happy ending here, I'm afraid. Just... just leave me alone. Fool. You always were. Oh boy. Mm -mm. What? Okay, what spoops do you have for me this time? It works! The calculations and adjustment works. The transport and storage mechanisms seem to be flawless. What a wonderful day! If only these people knew what we were fueling. And so what if a few people leave the park at the end of the day feeling dour? So what if the children were more scared than excited on the roller coaster? This could be the doorway to immortality. And such doorways open only to those who have the will to find the key. Shadow scared me there. So what is going on? That looks like a hospital. Is she dying? Is she getting a car crash? Man, I'm thinking just a go. That an axe. The witch awaits. What you don't want? Oh, my God, that's an axe and duct tape. Callum, Callum. I have no idea what's going on or if I'm doing any of this stuff in the right order. Callum has bruises on his arms. Finger marks. Someone has been hurting him. I've asked him. Demanded, really, to know where he got the marks. But he doesn't want to answer me. Something has scared him into silence. He doesn't dare talk. He's been changing, too. Something sinister lurks in the darkness behind his eyes. I catch him staring at me at odd moments. In the night, he
He tosses and turns and cries out words that I cannot understand. When I try to soothe him, he snaps and bites at my fingers. I think he wants to talk to me. I think he wants to tell me. But they are watching him every minute of every day. They are whispering to him in his sleep, changing him. They are taking my baby away from me. I can save him. There will be pain. But I love him, and in the end, he will understand why. Okay. I'm still not quite going on, getting what's going on, but that kind of sounds like you're abusing your child. I'm not playing anymore, Callum! can't understand it. God, I don't know where to go. Come back! I feel like I should have gone in those two rides that I didn't go in before. Or am I supposed to go down that way with the creepy noise? Oh no! I wish I had known before I came in this game if anything could actually kill me. I would like out now. I would I would like out now. There was a crouch. Lorraine! Lorraine, why can't you crouch? Oh boy, let's. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Pray yourself. The whole town was shocked by that one. Never found out who did it. Cotton candy corpse leaves sour taste in park goers' mouths. Yesterday evenings. Visitors to Atlantic Island Park were shocked and horrified by the discovery of a disembodied corpse behind the cotton candy stand. According to the local authorities, the corpse has yet to be identified. However, they have confirmed that the remains appear to be those of a child. The corpse was discovered by a group of teenagers from Innsmouth Academy. Ha! <laughs> they noticed a pair of ravens tugging out of something just out of sight behind the shack. Nathaniel Winter, the owner of Atlantic Island Park, has released the following statement. It is a true tragedy when something like this occurs, especially in a place that was designed to bring forth happiness and joy. The staff of the Atlantic Island Park offer their condolences to the family and friends of the victim and will cooperate fully with authorities to help bring this case to rest. Something's going to spook me when I get out of this. The Solomon Chronicle will provide daily updates on the story going forward. Get ready. One, two, three, go. Nothing. Okay, every time. Oh, God. Every time it doesn't spook me, I just get more worried. I'm never going to do amusement park ever again. Yeah, I'm like Disneyland? No. Disney World? No. I'm not going to amusement park ever again.
still can't understand what it's saying. So it's, I swear it said something about hair. Where am I supposed to go? I suspect I have to do something with this. No? So I have to go to the cotton candy stand? Oh boy, because there's something I have to go see there. Okay. Stop it! I see that blood. No, I don't want to go there. I don't want to do it. Management is not responsible for diseases contracted via the kissing booth. <laughs> oh, boy. I can help you, Callum. Poor bastard. You did this to him. did it. I played your fucking game. Let me out now. Oh, now there's... The, these are mine. Destroy reality. Fuck gravity. Something, but his daughter is hot. I can taste your dreams. Not safe. The league. Your mother. Only dead fish follow the stream. Say no to graffiti. Some kids laugh and some kids cry, but mostly children simply die. All these your love book carried away in 1980s. Are you better off than you were four years ago? Don't believe anything they tell you for the boogeyman. Something is a fat pig. It's not ready. Don't touch me. Forgive me, Callum. Don't leave me here, Callum. I just sent that thing into space. Callum, I'm sorry. Callum, I'm sorry. Oh, God, no. Don't, don't do it. Don't spook me. Don't spook me. Or pass out. That's fine, too.
I mean, the shipment man's going to be there to kill you. The park is a collage of contradictions all of its own. Millions of people die every year in car crashes. And the park has little cars designed specifically to simulate that action. Hear the children scream with joy. In the sideshow alley, you can walk away with 15 cents worth of mass-produced Chinese teddy bears while a grinning carny pockets your hard-earned five dollars. And what secrets lie beneath the sullen waters of the lake? The tears of jilted lovers, the soiled condoms of illicit affairs, the clotted blood of the lonely suicide. And the face of the witch looms over it all. I always despised a toothy grin and warty nose. I hate that sparkle in her weathered, watchful eyes. I think Callum is waiting for me. Inside. So I think they're talking about the House of Horrors. No, I'm supposed to go to the House of Horrors. Yes, yeah, so I'm supposed to go there. But I didn't, I didn't go to the the other one. Does that mean I have to walk past the freaky chipmunk people again? This isn't a game, Callum. something there before and now it's not and I knew it was a person and I'm chipmunk soon it's gonna kill me. Also there's a cow? Oh my fucking lord. Just go, just go, just go, just go, just go, just go. Is there a note somewhere? Oh, I'm feeling a little lightheaded. So I didn't go to the Tunnel of Tales. Stay where you are! Okay, uh, time to hate yourself. Let's hate ourselves, Lorraine. Let's hate ourselves. That's what bad shit's gonna help you know us now, honey. You ripped your jeans somewhere. I mean, I noticed that before on the roller coaster, but. It's just started on my feet. Look at these boots. These very nice boots. Near a great forest, there lived a poor woodcutter, his wife, and his two children. A boy named and a girl named Gretel. <laughs> they were very poor. And had very little to bite or sup. What will become of us? The woodcutter asked his wife one night. I tell you what, husband. We will take the children into the thickest part of the forest <gasps> and abandon them there. No, my wife. I cannot do that. 
Then we will all starve, you fool. Hansel and Gretel overheard their parents talking, and Gretel began to weep. Do not fret, Gretel, Hansel said. He crept out of the hut and gathered white stones from the ground to fill his pockets. Ah, no, the next no, chip my man, no! Leads the children into the forest. Before they leave, their mother gives them a slice of bread and warns them that they will get. I no see you, you asshole. Yeah, what's up? Clever. What's up, asshole? A trail of white what's up? Behind them as they pass what's up? The woods. When their father yeah, fuck you. Them, the fuck you. Wait You're probably sick. Follow the trail back to Ugh. Fight me. After receiving a thorough scolding from their parents for getting lost in the woods, the children are sent to bed without any supper. Hansel tried to sneak out and collect more white stones, but found that the door was locked. Tomorrow I, I will take them into the woods me. myself, the wife told the woodcutter. Ooh, he's better. In the morning, their mother gave them a slice oh, of no, bread my man's behind and me. led them deep oh, no. into the forest no, once no, again. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Hansel broke his bread into pieces and left a trail of breadcrumbs to lead them safely home. But hungry eyed birds snatched up the breadcrumbs and his trail was destroyed. Abandoned by their parents and unable to find the trail home, the children wandered in the forest for three days. The children stumbled into a clearing with an exceedingly strange house. Its walls were made of gingerbread, wow. and its windows were panes of clear sugar. I get it, it's all an Hansel, allegory. desperately hungry, ran forward and began to nibble on the walls. Nibble, nibble, I get it. My house! An old woman emerged from the house, sniffing the air and peering around with cloudy eyes. Oh, you dear children, mm -hmm. who brought you here? Just Are you there again, you asshole? Stay with me. No, oh my god. No harm will come to you. But Hansel and Gretel stayed back, for the old woman reminded them of their cruel mother. Come, children, don't be afraid. I have something for you. The old woman offered them two enormous lollipops. The children took them and began to. I'm sorry, Chipmunk Man. You see? I'm sorry, Chipmunk Man. To fear here. What was your name, Stephen? Come inside, the old woman urged, and the children, still licking their sweets, followed. Oh, my heart. <gasps> Once inside the house, the old woman changed. She stuffed Hansel into a cage and put Gretel to work, sweeping and cleaning her hut. Your brother will make a good mouthful, the old witch told Gretel. What is Once that? Once he is fattened up, I shall feast upon him. Okay, it's just like... Time passed, and poor Hansel refused to eat, fearing the day that the witch would eat him. The witch, for her part, grew impatient. Today, I will cook and eat your brother, Gretel. Climb inside and light the oven. But Gretel pretended not to understand. Uh, I do not know how. Where is the opening? Fool! The old witch said, the opening is here, and she moved to show Gretel. Seizing her courage, brave Gretel gave the witch a shove, and the old crone tumbled forward into the oven. Gretel slid a large iron bolt over the door to the oven. 
Gretel freed her brother Hansel, and together they lit a fire beneath the oven. And though she screamed and begged, the children sat by the oven until her screams had stilled, and the witch was cooked. Another trip, my man's for him. And then, because even children can't survive on sweets, they divided up the boy of the old witch and ate her. What? Alan, why did you go? Alan, why did you go? No! Oh! Fuck you! Fuck you, Swan Man! Fuck your shit! Fuck you so hard, you asshole! Me off! Yeah, what the? Really shouldn't have told you my man to fight me. Read handwritten note. What's this? Purchase the land or Solomon Isle for repentance, I might add. Whatever old Archie Henderson did to the locals, just the mention of his name had people slamming doors and locking shutters from the moment I arrived in the island. My lawyers had arranged everything in advance, but the realtor still had to come and deliver the keys to me personally. He took it upon himself to offer me another warning. I don't know what you're planning to do with this land, Mr. Winter, but the soil here is bitter with a curse carried from the old country. Old man Henderson, he did terrible dark things. The land remembers, sir. I dismissed him shortly afterwards, mostly amused by his pathetic attempts at warning me off. I have a great vision for this place, and the will to see that vision through to the very end. Atlantic Island Park. The name is perfect, and I cannot imagine it being anything else. This is the start of something amazing. Oh boy, let's get jump scared. Chad the chipmunk, huh? Just a drunk guy in a suit. Okay, Chad the chipmunk welcomes you to Atlantic Island Park. Job being seen in the daily ice sculpting shows in the following locations. 11 a.m. Sideshow Alley. 1 p.m. The Octotron. 3 p.m. Park Entrance. Chad the chipmunk works in class. Chad can't even seem to pass. Chad gets angry, likes to fight. Chad is beaten every night. Chad will have a dead-end job. Chad will die a useless slob, and I'm gonna get fucked over by- Okay, chipmunk man didn't fuck me over. Steven? Steve-o. You really think I wanna go in here? This isn't a game, Callum! Great. Yeah. Let's, let's just do this. Oh, God. I'm not playing. Oh, a loading screen. Oh, this is not on. This is not on at all. Okay. This official I'm going to have heart attack and die I 
keep seeing something is see page. Done. Atlantic Island Park has closed its gate. A jeering throng of townsfolk gathered as we hung the heavy iron padlock over on the gates. Small-minded fools scared of what they don't understand. My machines lie silent and dejected, but I am not beaten. I have sent my wife and son back to Boston, and I have retreated here to the House of Horrors, I must think. Is that like Slender Man or something? That's obviously the dude face we've been seeing. She has no eyeballs. What time am I gonna look at one of those and there's gonna be something behind me? Oh god, just be ready for a jump scare around every corner, I guess. Buddy. Hey, Mr. Winter. That's you, right? heart can't take much more of this. I see that. Let's hate ourselves some more. Kind of thing there. Just don't look in any of the mirrors and we'll be fine. I hate myself!
I hate myself. I hate myself. You, you done good. You spooked me good. going the right way. Given to me. Who was that? Please make me see. Nightmare Circus. A circus burns to the ground on opening night, killing dozens. The owner is put to death by an enraged mob of townsfolk, just as he shouts as a curse. Now Raven, a dark-souled wanderer, comes to the ruins and dusk in search of his missing mother. Let the show begin. Where's Callum going to be a flying guy? After they let me out, they gave me Callum back and sent me home with a handful of breadcrumbs. Home bit a sweet home. I barely recognized it. Where there had been color and light, there were shadows and regrets. Where there had been warmth, there was a bone deep coldness that never went away. I tried my hardest to keep the ghosts at bay. Don, watching from the dusty corners while I tried to teach his son to read. My father, coldly assessing me and finding me lacking. I devoted myself to Callum and did the things that they told me. It will get better, they said. Every day will be a little better than the last. I'm in the woods now. Lost and afraid. Things never got any better. Should I have gone to the other area? Disconnect. Notice. After multiple attempts to collect payment, we regret to inform you. That your service has been disconnected or will be disconnected shortly. Please do the following make the payment listed on your last bill. <sighs> Please contact us and we can arrange a payment plan so that you can immediately be reconnected. If you believe this is an error. If you believe that this is an error, call us. We discussed your option. If you're unable to make payment, please contact your local welf welfare office to discuss a placement for you and your loved ones. Winter in Maine is cold and brutal. I'll face it without electricity. Hunger. True story of the Donners. Famine press. On April 16th, 1846, a group of covered wagons began the 2,500 mile journey to California. Just eight months later, they found themselves stranded in the Sierra Nevada mountains with very little to bite or sup. It was to become one of the greatest tragedies of westward migration that the world has ever seen. Now, our panel of Donner experts have uncovered compelling evidence that the families were forced to resort to cannibalism in order to survive that terrible winter. In this never-before-seen expose, read about how the Donner children were forced to eat their brothers and sisters in order to survive. 
here in the page is sucking true story. Well, that actually did happen. <sighs> Mom and me in car. Mom and me at the park. I'm drawing. I love you from Callum. Jet Mommy is going to be behind me whenever I turn around. There's like a lot of cigarettes around, I've noticed. The Wilting. A solar flare has struck the earth. Millions of people are uprooted from their homes. A young meteorologist searches desperately for a way to stop global overheating. And an exotic dancer named Chance O'Hara is the key to saving the world again. So, Chance... It's like a, a, a series with her. Like, it's her series. Oh look, we went to the zoo and saw the the lions and the alligators and the monkeys and the giraffes. Milk, cheese, bread, butter, corn, potatoes, apples, fish sticks. Remember, drop off Callum, electricity bill, and fix the faucet. Oh, that faucet? Okay. Is there something? Ah, just chicken and wine. And some fruit. Okay, you can close the door now. I am very done being in here now. Ye letter. The rain. I received your letter and I am quite surprised. You ran off with your father all of those years ago, then disappeared off the edge of the map, and when I finally tracked you down, refused to answer any of my letters. And now you write to me asking for help. I have another family now and another life. Your father was a horrible man, and I regret the years I wasted with him. I loved you, I truly did, but every year you grew more and more like him. You were his girl, never really mine. Still, I would have fought for custody if you hadn't run away with them. It broke my heart, but I needed to go on living. I can't let you back into my life without picking open old wounds. I'm sorry, Lorraine, but I just can't do it. Maybe one day it will be easier and I can meet Callum, but not yet. I am not ready for to forgive you. Please don't contact me again, Karen. Not even your mom, just Karen. Mommy and Dad, Mommy and Callum are on a boat. I'm just gonna push myself up against the wall to read this letter. Miss Mallard. As we agreed in our meeting today, we consider you fully recovered from your illness. This letter is official notification that you are considered sound of mind and body and may return to work at any time. Please note, you should discontinue any medication that you have been using and dispose of any remaining medicines. If you feel at any time you are suffering from a relapse, then please make contact with your local physician immediately. We wish you continued good health. Read notice. Okay, Lorraine, Kimberly, it looks like Maylord, maybe. Data committal. <sighs> October 17th, 1977. Date of discharge, the 10th of November, 1977. Lorraine seems to be suffering from depression that began early in her pregnancy. Our discussions have made it obvious that these episodes stem from the grief of losing her partner, Don, who died about six months ago. There are several 
There are also several unresolved issues with her father. After being kept under careful observation, we provided standard treatment for this disorder, including electroconvulsion therapy. The patient responded and made a rapid recovery. After care recommendations, weekly follow-up with the local physician, mood stabilizers, lithium base. Oh, wow. They had her on some heavy shit. But I guess this was 1977. Lorraine has a newborn son, Callum, who was placed in foster care shortly after birth when Lorraine displayed symptoms of disorientation and depression. It is our judgment that Lorraine is fit to have her son return to her, and as long as she follows her recommended aftercare routine and continues with her medication, we have faith that she will be an effective caregiver. Lorraine has her own housing, and her employer, Susie, has said she is welcome to return to her shifts at the diner. Norma Creed, a local woman, has offered to care for Callum while Lorraine works. I thought I saw Norma Creed's name on one of these old, older papers. It is with this support network in mind that we feel confident releasing Lorraine from this institution. Medication instructions. A prescription for Zolift that can be filled at Flags Pharmacy in Kingsmouth. She has been advised to start with a 50 milligram dose and then based on the advice of her doctor to increase the medication as needed. So she had... Well, I mean, it's not really postpartum depression. Mm. Who the hell's going to be able to read that? Miss Maylard... Our inquiry into the estate of Do Mr. Ronald Williams has been completed. We regret to inform you that the primary beneficiaries of his estate, including the life insurance settlement for accidental death, were listed as Rose Williams and Richard Williams of New York State, the deceased's parents. Our agency has made contact with Mr. and, Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Williams and explained your situation, especially as regards to the birth of Donald's son, Callum. Unfortunately, they were not receptive to our overtures, and they specified that without any legal proof of a biological relationship, they consider you ineligible to receive any of the monies from Donald's estate. They have asked that we no longer contact them regarding this matter. I understand that this may have a negative impact on your current financial situation, and I hope that I am not being too forward when I enclose the bill for our services within this letter. So... So I'm starting to kind of piece this story together. So Lorraine met Dawn. And she got pregnant. And then Dawn was working at this park. And he died. Because he fell off the Ferris wheel. And so she goes into depression. Callum is born... And she attempts to kill herself, I guess. So they put her in the hospital. And then she's released a little under a month later. Because they gave her essentially electroshock therapy. Which is why she mentioned talking to the sheriff. That, you know, the sheriff was like, go get some help. And she said, you know, help is a bolt of lightning. Um... So, she... So, she gets out. She gets her son again. I'm not sure if the bit with the handprints, like, what the time frame for that is. I think it's it's later on. Because he looked to be... Eight-ish, maybe? I don't know. I can't tell a video kid. Um, I, I can't tell his age. Um... Well, actually, okay, 1977, the, whoops, that's wrong, the park was closed, okay, the park opened in 1978, and then it closed in 1980, but that would only make him, like, three years old, so that doesn't make any sense, um, so, sh so, 
So Callum some age and I get the feeling because of the hotel not the hotel the hospital on the roller coaster that she like got in a car with Callum and either accidentally Oh well, accidentally got in a crash. That doesn't sound right. Um but either there was a crash and it was on accident or there was a crash and she did it on purpose because she was trying to kill herself. And now she's in the hospital. I really feel like I really feel like that's what's going on. Back here again? There's the nightmare circus. So oh, there's the pills again. Hoo hoo. Psychedic pills. Okay. I wanna see if this says anything different then. Eh. Oh god, this thing's Oh it does. Nightmare Circus. The park it was a wait wait waiting on a child for take take taken using joy for bait bait baiting while their mother's mind is breaking analgesia wins. I don't want to take those pills again. Read letter. Lorraine, things aren't right between us at the moment. I know. I want to try and explain it. I think it is because I'm so far from home and I am working so hard every day working at the park. It gets worse, like a spring inside my mind, winding tighter and tighter and tighter. When we go for drinks after work, it gets a little better. The guys relax and we laugh and we're good. We're, we're, we're good people again. I don't want to come home to you without being in my right mind. But though when this job is done, we need to get out of this place. We need to go, need to go back to the city. Where I don't feel like this anymore. I love you, Donald. P.S. I was thinking about names for boys and girls. I like Callum for a boy and Emma if it is a girl. But that is like the same handwriting I we've been seeing this entire time. Two Story Hunger, the story of Hulud. Oh boy! In the spring of 1933, in the Soviet Ukraine, an entire population found themselves without food. Over the course of the coming months, the situation drew, grew critical and reports of mass malnutrition began to filter in the upper echelons of government. The people had been left with very little to bite or sup. There's a third time that's shown up. It was to become one of the greatest tragedies of mass starvation that the world has ever seen. Now our panel of Soviet experts have uncovered compelling evidence that the families were forced to resort to cannibalism in order to survive that terrible winter. And it's never before seen expose read about how the starving parents cooked and ate their own children in order to survive. What is this about? So those pills again. Am I supposed to be able to examine these pills? Zolift. I think that's like Zoloft. So they put her on antidepressants. I don't like that noise coming from there. The Wilting? Okay, it's the same. Except everything's now Lorraine. Okay. In the box. And now it's got letters on it. Okay. Still, I love you from Callum, but then there's some pills. And um, what is that? A flashlight? <sighs> what? What did you? What did? What did I miss? Oh! Hey, Callum. I'm a horrible mother. Where is he? He's right there. Yep. 
Description. Remember, take the pills. Follow both doc. Follow with Doctor Spencer. Organize babies for count. There's more pills, and there's more cigarettes. And the wrench is over there now. There's more alcohol. Now there's less food. The food is rotten. So she was Um, okay. So. She started taking the pills. But I don't think the pills were helping. So she's raising Callum and she's trying to raise him all alone. You know, working at a diner. So she's probably having to work like 80 hours a week. To afford to raise her son and then so she's taking the pills I know there's a lot more cigarettes there starts being a lot more alcohol I think either she starts abusing her son I, I'm starting to think she's like she gets drunk and then she abuses her son and she doesn't remember it and I think the bit about them whispering is like Maybe like if you've seen teachers or something and they're like whispering about like taking him away and she doesn't want them to, them to, to, them to take him away. I didn't run away. Dad took me. It's the same thing. You're going to jump scare me at some point. Link.com. Thank you, William, for the new watch. It is very nice. It has made me a happy carrot. It has made me a happy carrot? It looks like Callum's writing. So, who's William? Is this... Was that the doctor? And then that had just that stains on it. Okay, let's go in this hell hole again. What did you do now? the bear. It's getting more and more run down every time. Is this supposed to be her apartment? Okay, what's this 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 time? Nightmare Circus. Oh! Hmm. A chipmunk goes a stab stab stabbin in the eyes jab jab jabbin on all the townies gab gab gabbin just lie down and let it happen. Basil ganglia win. Better not be behind me. Now the doll, okay. And now it's burned. But that's that's still the same writing that I saw everywhere else.
the story of Hansel and Gretel this time. This is so hard to do. <sighs> a long time ago in a forest in the woods, there lived a woodcutter, his wife, and his two children, a boy named Hansel and a girl named Gretel. They were very poor and had very little to bite or sup. This story has been doctored to hide the truth from the unsuspecting public. Now our panel of fairy tale expert have uncovered compelling evidence that Hansel and Gretel were in fact eaten alive. In this never before seen expose read about how their parents and expertly tried to cover up cover it up by telling stories about a witch and a house made of candy. Shocking fake story. Leave me alone. Is on fire. This thing is covered in blood. Her lie. Yes. No, I don't. I can't. Her cry. See her try. I love you from Callum. Oh look, it says 100 milligrams now. Ten thirty-one nineteen eighty. Sounds like it's backwards. Oh, there's pills in the sink. It's less alcohol. Everything's on fire. Milk, Zola prescription cheese, all so this bread, so more pills to get to Atlanta. Now there's just alcohol in the fridge. That's Mr. Winter. And now the door is not even closed, it's just open. What have you done with him? Me. 
A boogeyman goes a walk, walk, walkin'. Sneakin' it, stealin'. A stock, stock, stockin'. Is he really a talk, talk, talkin'? Now is not the time for falcon. Cerebral cortex. I love the babies everywhere. It's a nice move. Conquer the story. The woodcutter is dead. The witch always wins. The woodcutter is dead. The witch always wins. I'll hear in the pages of this broken story. Is the rain the witch? Her why, her lie. That's how we're supposed to be the rain and dawn. My two best friends, Dawn and Laura, so that's Dawn and Laura. Can you with can you hear us, Lorraine? The a sun will struck the earth, and there's a cattle or a roof and I home. Sun will cattle again shadow. Stop global domination and thunder down. Listen. Irrepressible. Answer us, Lorraine. Lorraine, we are watching. Much is the pill bottle for now. Still 100. Oh boy. I love them babies. You are alone. Nobody loved you. Callum is no longer who he once was. And it's just so long prescription. And the refrigerator's over here now. I don't know where the wrench is. Oh, there's two refrigerators. It's an ice pick. As we agreed in our meeting today, we consider you to be batshit fucking insane. Let's be clear, you are in no way sound of mind and body, and you are a danger to everybody around you. Please note your only escape from this should be drugs, a shitload of them, smoking, snorting, oral, intravenous. Take them any way you can and as often as you can. This shit can only make your life better. In case there was any doubt, you are suffering a relapse and nobody really cares. Nobody can help you now. Don't fuck this up.
Babies aren't there anymore. What is it this time? Lorraine, Lorraine, I need you to focus on what we are discussing. The chipmunk killer, Steve Gardner. He was locked away for what he did to those kids. Oh. Oh god, um, Nathaniel Winter hasn't been seen in years, but he's nowhere in the line to guy in the park. We've still just, you know, this. Three, two, one, go! Okay. are talking. Can you hear us, Lorraine? The sun will be devoured. All the cattle will be enslaved. The shadow lies on your future our domination. If you listen, Lorraine, you are key to damning the world. We are irrepressible. You can only join us, Lorraine. Lorraine. See him die. Ask her why. See her try. See her cry. Say bye-bye. See him die, see her lie. Forget Dawn, so forget Dad, but do not forget Callum. Okay, okay. Do it yourself. The store is bleeding. I'm so done with this horrible place. Can I please leave? You will watch me rot. And then Mr. Winter. If 
deep breath. <sighs> it's different. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Stories are told again and again, and from their shape we build our understanding of the world. Two children are led into the woods. They are lost for a time, but then are captured by an old witch. A child goes missing in Atlantic Island Park. He wanders lost for a time before finding his way into the mouth of an old witch. In the oldest version of this story, the mother and the witch were the same person. I never wanted to be the witch, but I am, aren't I? Yep. Yep. Show yourself. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Show yourself. Leave me alone. So that's the things we need to look at. I'd almost say this was relaxing if I didn't know this game any better. Kids broke in today. It has been so long since I heard laughter, so very long. I took one of them. I couldn't help myself. It was fast. The others didn't notice. I liked hearing him laugh, this boy from the academy. I put him on a slab. I tickled him until he couldn't breathe. My machines came to life, whirring in time to his gasps and shrieks. I think this is delightful. The change wrought in me by the machines is not yet complete. There must be other children I can lay on my slab. So this is Monsters, Inc. Where everything is run by the power of laughter. Eyes without spark. Great. Hansel and Gretel. <laughs> okay, was a trip, my man. I am so scared of Steve more than anything else in existence. Steve scares me. Don't leave me.
What? Hey, Lorraine. Lorraine. Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Take a deep breath and think about the last place you saw your son. In my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Okay. So... The woodcutter's talisman says what that was supposed to be. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to have to look up and see if this has multiple endings or not because that sort of indicated that she killed her own son. And then what? Reported him missing? I'm not I'm not quite sure about that. And I kind of wonder maybe if you didn't ride the rides like Lorraine's mental state would be better and then she wouldn't kill her kid. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look up and see if this has multiple endings or if it's just like the story is the story is the story which I still don't quite understand. I mean I get I get the backstory. She's you know she had her boyfriend and her boyfriend died and then um 
her dad didn't really help her because her dad was apparently an alcoholic and her mom wouldn't help her um, because um, because and her mom wouldn't help her because her mom regretted you know being with her dad and thought that she had run away and abandoned her and you know you, you know the, uh, Callum's paternal grandparents wouldn't do anything for him and she you know she ends up having you know really bad depression tries to kill herself goes into therapy probably unwillingly um, you know, gets out, and you know, all they do is give her pills. Obviously, at some point, it went from 50 to 100 milligrams. I never really saw the pill go up past 100. Um, but it looks like, you know, she, you know, I think the indication of going through and through and through was that, you know, like there was more pills, you know, and there was more alcohol. And originally, there was food in the fridge, and there wasn't a whole lot of drink, you know, there wasn't a whole lot of wine. And there were, like, fruits and vegetables in the fridge. And then, you know, it goes down to... You know, then there's the food and a little bit, you know, and, and some wine. And then it's, like, just wine and this wine in the ice pick, which is really weird. Um, I don't understand what Steve had to do with all of that. I don't understand what the books had to do with all of that. Like... You know, the books like Are You Listening and all that kind of stuff. I don't know if I had picked a different path to go in the haunted house. If it would have taken me a different way because there was a different way that I did not go. Um, and I'm not sure if that was just an explorable area and then I would have doubled back and gone the way that I was supposed to go. Um, I'm not sure if finding all the notes would have made a difference. I still feel like I'm going to have to check it out and I'll press processing, but um, check it out in editing that um, whether the letters actually are the same text, because it seriously looked like the text from Dawn and the text from Mr. Winter, like the letters were the same and it might have just been that they, you know, they didn't bother writing down two different things for it that nobody would notice. Or they are slightly different. They kind of look slightly different, but I mean, the fact that the paper was torn on the top and bottom was, you know, the same thing. I'm not sure if I didn't find all the notes, and that's why. Um, but I think it became very obvious that. Lorraine felt the pressures of being a single mother, and. Um, I, I do think he she was starting to abuse her son and she just didn't remember that she was abusing her son and you know and when she confront, confront you know confronted him about um, when, when when she confronts him about you know who's hurting him he's putting these bruises on him you know he won't he can't tell her he's too scared to tell her because it's her. And I'm not sure, you know, about the, the symbolism. I mean, the Hansel and Gretel, obviously, there was, there was so much allegory with the Hansel and Gretel story, but I'm not sure what the whole thing about, you know, the woodcutter is dead, the witch wins, um, because um, Lorraine had a axe for uh, a necklace, which, um, you know, in the, in the extras for the secret world, this mention is the woodcutter. Um, so is it almost like the woodcutter and the witch are like the two sides of Lorraine and like the woodcutter is like the good side of Lorraine and the witch is the bad side of Lorraine? And I guess maybe that's what the book was saying was that the good side of Lorraine had died and then the witch had won. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm definitely going to have to look into this kind of stuff. Um. But, I mean, it was... I'll wait for the music to finish. Um, 
it was a good game. I mean, it definitely... It had it did rely on jump scares a lot. I mean, I knew that the jump scares were going to happen most of the time. Um, you know, the bit where you have the the letter about the um, the girl thinking Steve was creepy, um, and then you know you put the letter down and she's there um, behind the window, like that. Yeah, you you knew that was going to happen, especially with the letter being right up in your face like that. Um, and the whole thing, you know, with, with examining the corpse, and I knew Steve was going to be back there, or Chad the chipmunk. Um, I knew he was going to be there. But that doesn't make it any less like, oh my god, when he, when he did show up. It was, um, there were jump scares, but I think they were well implemented jump scares. Um, and the tension was very well ratcheted up, I did feel. Um, it the direction in the game I did feel a little lost because you know it, it tells you you know call out and it'll you know it, it, and I guess that's what the little vibrated things was whenever it vibrated you know it was showing you it was showing you where to go and it didn't work out so well I don't think um, because it was like do I ride the rides do I not ride the rides um, I still almost feel like there's some sort of choice um, that if you go through all this and get all the notes and stuff without getting all that stuff, because um, I don't know if you, I mean, do you really need the bumper car? I mean, you do need the flashlight, and I guess maybe you have to ride the roller coaster to get the flashlight? I'm not sure. I didn't, I mean, I didn't check around. I was like, okay, there's rides. Obviously, this game wants me to ride the rides. Um, I was supposed to get in the bumper car and bump it around, but obviously the whole point of the scare was, I'm going to turn that down. <laughs> um, the whole point of the scare was to, you know, have the bumper cars crashing because they fell off and killed that person. So, well, no, it was, a, it was a pretty good game. I mean, for what's obviously just a little spin-off game of The Secret World, um, it was fun. I enjoyed it. I wish I had a little bit more answers as to what was up with Steve. Um, was the boogeyman actually Mr. Winter, or was it Old Man Henderson? Um, you know, I feel like some of this stuff about, um, you know, like the machines, um, and one being powered by fear and one being powered by laughter, you know, like, I feel like it ties into the secret world somehow, and that's why I don't really understand it. Um, but I'll have to, I'll have to, I'll have to check this out a little bit more. But, um, I hope you guys enjoyed. And, uh, thanks for stopping by. And, uh, I'll see you when I see you.